seated. If you want to, you can stand. <coughs> Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. Mm -hmm. Buenos dias. Happy Sunday morning to you. Happy New Year. Amen. Yes. We want to welcome all those of you that are watching us by uh, video and or listening to us by audio. We just want to welcome you. A happy, happy New Year. Feliz Año Nuevo. Amen. Amen. So praise God, but we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Amen. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Feliz Año Nuevo. Y reciba lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. Come ready to receive. You know what? I noticed you already, you, you, you got your uh, shouting clothes on. Your, your joyful song, uh, clothes on. Your crying clothes on. You know, yeah. you never know. You know, you never know how you're going to react about what God has for you. Amen. Amen. So you know what? Sometimes it's, it's tears. Sometimes you just want to praise Him. Sometimes you just want to run. Sometimes you just want to jump. Sometimes you just want to smile. Oh, Amen. Yeah. But you know what? It's always good to just say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. In all things, give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. Amen. And allow the word of God to bless you, encourage you, and change you. Amen. Yes. Amen. We want to change from glory to glory to glory. Amen. Amen. You know, when you climb the ladder, you go one step at a time. We serve God one day at a time, amen? Yeah. One year at a time. But he says he's given us a day, and he tells us to rejoice and be glad because he's given us another day. Amen. He's given amen. us another year. Amen. So, church, it's up to you. You could be a cheerful, winning, champion for God, or you could just be a defeated Christian. Uh -huh. It's up to you. You know, you got all these beautiful things he's given us, but we're not enjoying them, and we're not using them. And most important of all, know that you have authority. Amen. You have authority, so you know instead of running from the devil, now we can put him on the run. Oh yeah. Amen. Let's turn that around. Amen. Amen. So I'm excited. I don't know about you, but you know, be excited for him. Amen. Amen. Because when you know what, when you get a word in you, it's going to set you free. Yes. Free from this world. It's going to set you free from mindsets. It's going to set you free from past, from bondages, and all these things that kept you down. Now it's time to. Live for him and be Amen. excited. Amen. So, hey, hallelujah. Grab your Bibles, grab your swords, child of God, and say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This, this is, is my Bible. Bible. I, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly speak the word of God. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise God. God. I'm excited. You know what? Say this with me. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit you are welcome, you are welcome in, this in this place. Hallelujah. Sure. Amen. You know, Hallelujah. not just this place yes. where we assemble ourselves together, but you are welcome in this house, mm -hmm. in this temple. The Bible says that your body, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Jesus yes. paid a price, and you don't belong to yourself anymore. Right. This time you know the truth, yeah. because that's going to set you free. Yes. You belong to him. Yeah. So, you know, you go to him and you say, here I am. Yeah. Just like uh, Rusty's testimony and uh, Jesse's testimony, you know, and say, Lord, here I am. What can yeah. I do for you? Amen. Amen. And listen, you, we've said it many times, and we're going to say it again today. Amen. He's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Amen. Are you making yourself available? Uh -huh. Amen. He's, he, he's looking for available people. Yeah. You know, he's looking for participators, not spectators. <laughs> you know, when you spectate, you want to be your own little God, and you want to judge, and you want to critique, and that's not what it's all about. Right. He says, participate, be involved, yeah. serve. And the Bible tells us in Matthew 20, 28, that the Son of, the son of Man, the Son of God, excuse me, the Son of God came not to be served, but to serve. Yeah. So if he can do it, so can we. Amen. If God gave his best, Jesus, uh -huh. John 3, 16, yeah. Jesus gave his best, we're to give our best. You okay. know what you do? Is you surrender yourself on a daily basis. Yeah. Okay, Lord, here I am. What can I do for you? Amen. Just thank you. Excited, excited, excited. Amen. So anyway, prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves. I hope you have your little handout because we're going to read it here in a few minutes. Amen. also want to read to you. If you're not in Facebook, 
I put on a scripture uh, break on a daily basis, and uh, hopefully you, you read those. Amen? I'm going to read it to you in a few minutes. But, again, don't come defeated. Come knowing who you are. Amen? Amen? Be like David, knowing that you're a champion for Jesus. You know, attacking those giants coming before you. And believe me, they're going to come. So, you be a champion for Jesus. Be encouraged and be uh, blessed and be changed. Amen? We're going to be talking about serving him, being a passionate believer, yearly and daily. <laughs> Amen? Getting yourself excited. You getting yourself stirred up for him. Amen? I remember the pep rallies all the time. You know, we come out of there knowing that we was going to attack some giants. You know, we was going to win. Yeah. Amen? Ah, we knew who was backing us. We knew God is with us. Amen. As, as Christians, knowing God is backing you, God is with you. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Yeah. Amen. So get yourself stirred up. Amen. So grab your little uh, handouts there. How come yours is so pretty? I just got one of these. But let's see. They should read the same. It says, we'll never change the world by... Going to church. church. We will only change the world by what? Being. Being the church. You are the church. You know, when you leave these four walls, you don't leave the church behind. That's right. It goes where you go. Yeah. You know, we need to get this revelation, church, because a lot of people don't. A lot of people think this is it. And when you come here, you're super anointed. And when you leave, you just go, you leave it behind. No, you know, you, <laughs> the greater one is in you amen. all the time. This is the temple. Yes. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. So know that you are the church. Wherever you go, God is with you. Authority is with you. The word goes with you. Amen. amen. And you have this. Well, wait, let's read it. I gave you a couple of scriptures there, but it says Mark 16, 15 through uh, 18. He says, go and he said to them, mm -hmm. Them is you. You can scratch that and just put Hosanna. You can scratch that, write your name in there. Mm -hmm. Go into what? All, All the world. world. And, preach. and preach the gospel to what? Every to every creature, every person, man, woman, child. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. And he that does not believe will be condemned. Amen. And he said, he said in verse 17, and these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, his name, they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not, it will do no, uh, by no means hurt them. That's right. They will lay hands on the sick and what? They, they will recover. recover. Amen. So praise God. You know, we need to, we need to get the word in us. No. That these signs will follow us, you know. Yeah. Uh, I've, for lack of better words, I guess I just say it like this. I've said it many times. Jesus says we are the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. He didn't say you are my denominations. Yeah. There's the many denominations out there, and you know we can't go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature because we're all so confused about who's right and who's wrong. Yeah. We're the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Preach the gospel. Amen. Stay basic. You know, we don't have to go into all these technicalities and all these things, do's and don'ts. That's right. Preach the word of God. Amen. Because it's the word that does the job. It's not about Amen. you. Amen. We are, just know this, we are the body of Christ. Amen. You know, there's denominations out there, but we are the body. Amen. We are the body. They're not our enemy. The Bible says we only have one enemy, and that's Satan. Yeah. But you know what? If Satan can keep us all confused yeah. about who's right and who's wrong, uh -huh. we ain't fighting the, him, we're fighting the one another. Mm -hmm. And we can't go into the world all confused about who's right and who's wrong. That's right. Know the word. Just know the word and go as a person, as a child of God, knowing yeah. that you have the word in you, yeah. that you can bring salvation to somebody just by sharing with them. Amen. Amen. And you know, when, <laughs> when the enemy tries to come, just say, uh-uh, no way. I give you no place, no room. I'm not going to listen to your lies anymore. Stand up. Amen, as a child of God. And uh, Philippians 4.13, I just chose those two. I'm going to read you some more in a few minutes. It says that I, you can put your name there, 
Jose can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens me. You need strength? Well, just ask him. Amen. Amen. He also says the joy of the Lord. So don't go out there as a sad looking Christian, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of sad you yeah. see in the, in the Old Testament. They were so sad, you see. <laughs> don't be that way. <laughs> just be joyful. Amen. Because Lord, I need your strength. You know, when, when you smile and you, you show his strength, people want to know why. And you tell them, because Jesus is my strength. Jesus yeah. set me free. And I'm free, and I can smile about it. I can rejoice and be glad in it. Because he's given me another day. Amen. Not to suffer, not to be sad, but to be rejoice, rejoicing in him. Amen? Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Amen. <laughs> Lord. I'm excited. He talks to us about being passionate believers. Amen? Yes. This is uh, my uh, scripture break this morning. Brag on him with more passion. Yeah. Brag on him. Boldly step out in faith and passion. Hmm. The devil can't stop it or can't stand it. Daily yeah. rejoice and be glad in him. When pressures come, don't give in. Don't quit. Right. Don't faint. Instead, go to the throne of grace. Amen. Go boldly in the name of Jesus and get the help you need. Yeah. Don't let don't let go of the word when things get hard. That's when you need. That's when you need your double. Uh, that's when you need to double up and stir that gift in you. Amen. Yeah. Be constant in prayer so that you are grounded and immovable. Bragging yeah. on him this year and daily. Amen. Going somewhere to happen for him. Yeah. Going somewhere to set somebody free. Yes. Ain't that amazing? The awesome testimony Jesse shared with us. Knowing Lord. I can set one person free. Yes. Amen. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. You know, hallelujah. but it's the word of God. You know salvation, what it, salvation is? It's a free gift. Yeah. People, uh, when they receive salvation, they receive freedom. They receive a free gift. They yes. receive freedom from bondage. Yes. They no longer have to be under that anymore. That's so right. salvation is freedom. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that when Jesus, before he surrendered himself to the Father, says, Father, forgive him. Yeah. Amen. We need to know this. We need to learn this too. We need to forgive. Amen. Yeah. Quit walking around with a frown. Let him go. Amen. So here we go. We're just getting started. Amen. <laughs> so thank you, Holy Spirit. You're welcome. We yeah. thank you. Open yourselves up and allow the word of God to bless you, yeah. change thank you, you encourage you. Amen. I need yeah. this. We need this. Happy New Year. This is year, yeah. this new year in every day of our lives. God wants us to Love and serve them with passion. Yes. So what's passion? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> Having oh. powerful emotions. Enthusiastic. Excited. Fervent. Zeal, zealous. This is what I wrote. On fire and stirred up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you some scriptures. I mean the whole Bible is full of this. But I'm going to give you some scriptures to keep you motivated. To keep you stirred up. All year, yes. all, not only on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But every year yes just to keep going for him we gotta yeah. keep our, we gotta keep ourselves plugged into the source yeah if you don't keep yourself plugged in guess what the world is going to take you yeah the world is gonna have you yes. amen so we need to do our part yeah. we need to spend time with him amen we need to spend time uh plugged into our sources i've told you this before keep your spiritual batteries charged all the time mm -hmm. keep that spiritual fuel going all the time because it's going to take you he says overflowing amen overflowing stood up overflowing scripture that'll keep you motivated of course our text is uh is uh philippians 3 12 through 14 we read it last week and we're just gonna uh read over it right quick but you can follow it and mark these down because I'm going to give them to you. Philippians 3, 12 and 14 says, Not that I have, yeah, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. Mm -hmm. Not that I have already attained or am already perfect, but I press on that I may lay hold of what Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Yeah. Behold, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are yeah. behind Amen. In the past, and reach it forward to those signs which are ahead. Amen. Press forward to the goal for the price of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Aren't you glad yes. this is a scripture you can have on a daily basis? You know what? 
Yesterday's gone. Let it go. It's yeah, past. Yeah. It's in the past. Thank you, Lord. Get motivated. I've got a new day to serve. Mm -hmm. I repent. I confess. And so guess what? It's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Don't bring it back up. You don't have to go back there again. Mm -hmm. And we just got to follow these along. Philippians 4, 6 through 8. And you know you know the, all these things. But guess what? It's just the basic. Bible is just basic instruction before you leave earth. All right. Basic instruction <laughs> on a daily basis well, before you go out into the world. Amen. Philippians 4, chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. This is from the NIV. Do not be anxious, worried about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, yes. present your request to God. Amen. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now he tells us what to meditate on. Oh, boy. Verse 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatsoever is true, whatsoever is noble, whatsoever is right, whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is lovely, whatsoever is admirable. Mm -hmm. And if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you know what? If it's not lined up with the word of God, just delete it. Get it out of there. Yes. What's the enemy comes to do? Steal, steal kill, kill destroy. Me. Where does he attack? He attacks the mind. The mind is the battlefield. Mm -hmm. So you got to be ready. The Bible tells us that's another scripture down the road here, but Romans 12, chapter 12, verses 1 and 2 mm -hmm. tells us to renew your mind. Yeah. Renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Because you're thinking, you're thinking, you're seeing, and you're processing all these things, and you got to renew your mind mm -hmm. with the Word of God. Otherwise, if you don't, it will just pull you in. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're gonna be just like the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you got to renew your mind and start thinking and, and heading back into the things of God. Mm -hmm. So these things won't distract you from your. God with you. I mean, you'll walk with him. Amen? Yes. Amen. So praise God. <laughs> we already read this one. Philippians 4.13. Mark that down. I can do all things through him. Not by myself. Amen? We yeah. just don't serve him a little bit, little bit and then get a big head and we say, well, it's all about me. No, it's about him. Yeah, I can man. do all things through him. All things, yes. Amen? Jesus knew. He went to the Father before he did anything because he knew he needed his strength. Amen. So why not us? He set the example for us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6 33. These are <laughs> scriptures that just keep you motivated all the time. <laughs> what do I do on a daily basis? Mm -hmm. Is seek him first. Yes. Amen. Get my priorities yeah. right on a daily basis. I've yes. told you about my military career. On a daily basis, I have to know what the plan of the day is. What is the plan of the day? Mm -hmm. What is my plan for the day? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, or as a soldier for God, what is my plan of the day? My plan of the day on a daily basis is to seek Him first. Yeah. Spend time with Him. I get all my instruction from Him. Yes. I know where to go, what to do. Amen. And Amen. what to be careful for. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, <laughs> and you know who your enemy is? Mm. The Satan. Not the world. God hates sin. Yeah. He loves sinners, but He hates sin. Mm. For God so loved Sinners, for God so loved the world, the world that he sent Jesus. Jesus came and died. Yes. Amen. But he hates sin. I don't care. There's no degrees. Of sin. sin is sin. Mm -hmm. There's no little sin, big sin, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Sin is sin. So he hates sin. Yes. Amen. But he loves sinners because Jesus came and gave his life for him. And he paid the price, but it's up to us to receive yeah. him. 2 Corinthians 5 17. We all we, we know all these things, but you know what? These will keep you motivated to know. Yeah. Says, hey, the old is out, the new is in. Yeah. You're a new creature in Christ. Uh -huh. You know, don't let the world, don't let family yeah. or anybody you know, co workers, friends, hold you back and say, hey, Amen. who do you think you are? Yeah. Well, I'm a child of God. Know mm -hmm. who you are. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God. Nobody can distract me. Nobody can put me down mm -hmm. unless you allow them. Mm -hmm. Or if you just say, I quit mm -hmm. and give in. No. Mm -hmm. So 2 Corinthians 5, 17. You're a new creature in Christ. Old yes. things are gone. New things are in. Amen. Amen. And not only that, but he, you, you know, you can just put a little dash on there and just go all the way. I think it's through mm -hmm. verse uh, 21. Mm -hmm. But he tells us that you're also a minister of reconciliation. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know if you're called? <laughs> you have a calling. He said, I've called you to be a minister of reconciliation, bringing people to Christ. So you have a call on your life. Amen. Don't say, well, he never talks to me. Well, when was the last time you opened your Bible? Mm -hmm. It's time you dust it off and just open it up and say, you know what? This is a new year, so I'm going to start spending time in the Word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get the Word in you. You get the truth in you. It'll take all the fears out, and your faith is going to grow. And you're going to step out in faith, like we sang a few minutes ago. I walk by faith. How do I walk by faith on a daily basis? I get the Word in me. Mm -hmm. And nothing can put me down unless you put yourself down. Yeah. Amen. You got to deal this new year. You got to deal with that person right in front of you when you look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. And say, we're going to serve God. Yes. And we're going to go higher and higher and higher for God. Yes. And we can do all things through Christ. Yes. Don't talk to yes. yourself. You know, nobody can see you except yourself. Uh -huh. You're seeing yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we, we read uh, Matthew 6, uh, 15 through 18. Uh, Well, he tells us to go and preach the gospel. Uh -huh. Amen. Pray, preach the gospel to all creation, not just some. He says, preach the gospel to all creation. Yeah. Amen. If you have the word in you, you're going to go, and you're going to do what he tells you to do. And then he, he tells us that we can lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Amen. So who do you think you are laying hands on, on people and, and thinking that you're going to do this? Well, I don't do it because of me. I do it because he tells Amen. me. And I believe his word, and I'm going to do it. He didn't say put your foot on him. <laughs> he didn't say put your arm on him. He said lay your hands on him. Yes. These hands are anointed. Raise your yeah. hands. Raise your hands. Come on. Yeah. Just say these hands are anointed These by God. Amen. He said lay hands on the yeah. sick and they shall recover. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Sometime this year, in the near future, you're going to have to lay hands on somebody. Yeah. When somebody walk up to you and say they need prayer, don't say, you know what, I'm going to pray for you because you're too embarrassed to pray for them in front of people. <laughs> I'm going to lay hands on them right there and say, yeah. you know, hey, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yeah. This is what the Word of God says. I'm not yeah. going to be ashamed of him because I don't want to be ashamed of me. That's right. By Jesus Christ, I'm healed. You know what he says, do it. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey Amen. These are just a few. I mean, the, the whole Bible, you know what? I think I wrote this Bible basic instruction before leaving earth. When you have the word in you, you will step out in faith. Yeah. And you will know the truth and it's going to set you free. Amen. Yeah. You know, people, so and so said, you know, there's always a so and so saying. Yeah. <laughs> and we believe the say, so and so's more than we believe what the word of God says. Oh. You know, sometimes, you know, religion, tradition says this, and we believe that more than we believe what the Word of God says. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing. You know, he's telling you in his word, and you take his word and, and put it to work. And forget about what so-and-so said. Just put it on the shelf and say, okay. Because if it's not scriptural, if it's not scriptural, don't even, don't even take it. Don't even receive it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. <laughs> Isaiah 43 and 18 says this in the New uh, Century Version says, The Lord says, forget what happened before in the past and do not think about the past. Well, do not think about the past. He wants to do a new thing. I'm going to do a new thing for him. Amen. I'm excited because what? Because he wants to use me. Amen. You know, most of, the, most of the times, you know, I don't know if you saw the Cowboys last night, but they were enthused and they were excited <laughs> and they were motivated. Amen. How many teams you know uh, are going to start a season uh, unmotivated no. and continue to play unmotivated all the season? Guess what? They're playing undefeated. Hmm. I mean, they're playing with a defeated uh, attitude. Yeah. They're not yeah. even passionate. They're not even motivated. Yeah. But, if, you know, you are to start enthused and excited and motivated yeah. and passionate about playing. Amen. All season long, not just one game, but yeah. every game, you know, I go before him and I pray. And Lord, I dedicate myself to you. I can do all things through Christ and go in, in this game of life. Mm. And whatever game of life brings, you know, hey, you know what? I'm going out with a winning attitude mm -hmm. and not a losing attitude. That's right. Amen. You know, that's up to you. That's your choice. Yeah. Amen. 
just go out, step out with a winning attitude all the time. God is more enthused and interested in our future than he is about our past. So get, forget the past. Troubles, problems, failures, setbacks. Mm. And guess what? <laughs> your friends, families, your enemies, they're going to remind you about these things. Oh, yeah. But you know, just let them know I don't live there no more. <laughs> that's, that's past. And you just got to know that you can walk away from it. Yes. Okay? Well, walk away from it. We must be aware of the passionate killers, things that rob us of our joy. Yeah. And there's bunches of them out there. Oh, yeah. But you have to know these things. Amen? Give no place to the devil or anything or uh, anyone that he wants to use. Mm -hmm. Renew your mind with the things of God. Mm -hmm. Get the old out, bring the new in. Control, <laughs> we talked about this on a yearly basis, control the tongue, mm -hmm. or it's going to control you. Mm -hmm. Amen? You can speak life or death, but the choice is yours. Yeah. Amen. It's time we change. Speak faith-filled words. Yes. Speak the word of God. Yes. Amen? Change the way we say things, because words carry life or death. Mm -hmm. Words uh, carry uh, uh, our, our carriers and it could be negative or be positive but you are speaking them yeah. and you're giving them you're giving them uh, life, life. Mm. you're the one that's sowing them and guess what the Bible says you reap what you sow mm -hmm. so why not reap the right things amen, amen. Yes. speak the right things amen. put a guard <laughs> over the mouth amen mm. <laughs> Don't be hung by the tongue. Oh, boy. <laughs> Change the old thinking thinking. Mm. <laughs> the negative thinking with the new positive thinking. Yes. Let go of hurts, guilt, uh, griefs, and grudges. Oh, yeah. Bad memories, old memories, whatever. You know, you start thinking, you, you think things all the time. Uh -huh. If it's about defeat, if it's about uh, uh, getting back, getting even, oh, you boy. say, you know what? <laughs> Jesus already paid the price. Yes. Uh, we don't even have to go there anymore. Amen. Just give it away. Yeah. Because as long as you're meditating on it, it's going to stay there. Amen. And it's going to take you with it. And it's going to pull you down. So I said, you know what? I just gave it to you, Lord. When Remember we talked last week where when you bring your trash to the dump, leave it there. Mm. Don't take it back. Mm. You give it to him, Amen. he wants it. And he yes. says, I've got it. Let it go. Keep doing what I told you to do. Amen. Amen. So let it go. Don't go. Listen, don't go. Go forward, not backwards. Mm -hmm. He didn't make us to back up. Mm -hmm. He didn't make us to turn around and go backwards. Mm -hmm. He made us to go forward. He says, press on forward mm -hmm. to the goal, to the prize. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must keep ourselves uh, refired, mm -hmm. stirred up with passion. Mm -hmm for God as we serve him on a daily basis, on a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. But you need to motivate yourself. And you know what? When you're motivated, when you're excited, when you're on fire and it's running over, it's going to catch on to somebody else. Mm -hmm. And it's going to spill over to somebody mm -hmm. else. They're going to get saved or they're going to be excited about the things of God too. Yeah. I want what you've got. What is it you got? What is it that keeps you so happy all the time? Mm -hmm. Well, it's Jesus. It's my salvation. It's my walk with him. But they got to see it through mm -hmm. you. Amen. Remember? Oh, hallelujah. Somebody walked away with my Jesus glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Put your Jesus glasses on. What's my Jesus glasses? My Jesus glasses. Oh, love. Step out in love and compassion. You step out in love and compassion. Mm -hmm. Feeling sorry for people ain't going to help them. Mm -hmm. When you have love and compassion for them, you can help. When people see that you care, they know that you, that you love. Amen. People don't care how much you know until they see how much you care. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just know. Step out with the love and compassion of Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When they see that, they know. Mm -hmm. I want what you've got. Well, what do I have? I have Jesus. Mm -hmm. I've got Jesus to share. He says, not only are we ministers of reconciliation, he said, you're my ambassadors. Mm -hmm. What's an ambassador? You're my mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. You're speaking my word. Amen. So praise God. I know y'all want my glasses, but you can't have them. <laughs> Get passionate for him. Stop having petty parties. 
Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, so and so says something. So let it go. Oh, poor little me attitude. He said, well, I only do this little bit for Jesus. We talked about this. Big or small, do it yeah. as a body. Yeah. Do it. And let's continue in unity yeah. as a body. You know, hey, whatever denominations, you know, hey, let's come together as a body of Christ yeah. and reach the Amen. lost for Christ. You know, why are we beating ourselves up when we yeah. need to reach the needy? Yes. Those that are hurting, those that yeah. are in sin, mm. and bring them over to Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Stop saying, <laughs> your life is so unfair to me. Mm. <laughs> Used to be there. <laughs> That's way back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Long ago, God created us with emotion. And want us to live passionately for him. Yes. Amen? Amen. Like I said, some of us, I've got it here somewhere. Some of us are so passionate ooh, about football. Oh, boy. The Cowboys. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I know those of you are watching, I, you love the Cowboys. <laughs> We're passionate about oh, barbecue. Oh, Texas. Oh, barbecuing. Hunting rodeos. <laughs> You know, we're passionate about these things. And you know what? Hey, I guarantee you them cowboys were passionate last night. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. You know, they were pressing on. That's what we need to do. We're on God. We're on God's team. Amen. God's team Amen. wins. You know, when we come yes. over to God's team, we got to remember and uh, keep in mind, we're on the winning team. Yes. Amen. We're yeah. on the winning team. So listen, church family. Yes. <laughs> We're a winning team together. So when you see brother and sister down, talk to them, encourage yeah. them, pick them up, you know, say, hey, you can make it. Yes. God is with you. Lord just wanted me to tell you, he's for you. Instead yeah. of just kicking each other and beating each other, you know, and just trying to compete against each other instead of complete one another. Amen. Amen. That's what we need to do as a body of Christ. Yes. Is complete one another. That's encourage right. one another. Amen? Amen. Passionate. What's passion? I'm glad you asked. Mm. Passion is what mobilizes the armies of God into action. Mm. We're the army of God. Amen? When, I, I don't know if you know, but when you were born again, you joined God's army. Mm -hmm. So now you're a warrior, you're a soldier, you're a champion, you're a winner for Jesus. Mm -hmm. See yourself this. Start seeing yourself this way. Amen? Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. You can go and do for him. Amen. Yes. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Yes. As long as you do it. Yes. Amen. Yes. Passion yes. is what caused the apostles <clears throat> to go where no man has gone before. Oh boy. Amen. <laughs> Even though everybody was against them, mm -hmm. they went. Yeah. Amen. They went. Amen. Passion is what caused Christ to spend. Yeah. The last nights and hours trying to find a way to complete his mission by spending time with his father. I said, Lord, if you could take this away from me, take it away. But he said, not my will, yes. your will be done. That's right. Amen. He said, I'm going to do it. I'm going to complete my mission. You could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, you know, when you complete your mission with him, he'll say, welcome home, good and faithful mm -hmm. servant. Amen. Amen. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear for you. <laughs> passion is what cost um, well where am I passion is what caused a good athlete to turn into himself or herself into a great athlete Yes. passion is what takes a normal or a normal born again believer and turn himself into a super natural passionate wow. believer on fire sold out surrendered to God and committed yes. to do for him mm -hmm. amen remember it's his super with our natural. Yes. We become supernatural Amen. through him. We can do all these things oh, through him. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to go and complete my mission for he is with me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, Mark 12, 30 says this, and you must love the Lord your God with all your, all heart, your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Yes. The message translation, I know some of you don't care, but the message translation says this. 
So love the Lord God with all your passion mm. and prayer and intelligence and energy. Mm. But passion, go and do for him and be passionate about it. Mm. People will see when you're passionate about something. Mm -hmm. You get a new car. Oh, I was so excited. I'm so passionate. Mm. Mm. What about your salvation? Mm. I'm passionate. And you know, we started our year on passion, on fire for God. And during the middle, somewhere during the middle, in the end of it, we're dragging. Mm. <laughs> you start your day with passion. And during the day, sometime during the day, you're dragging. Mm. Remember, you got to renew your mind Amen. and get yourself back with him. And get motivated and get passionate and say, wait a minute. This is not me. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ. Get yourself up mm -hmm. and get passionate. Jesus is saying, I want you to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Nothing matters more than this. Amen. The number one thing is this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Matthew mm -hmm. 6, 33. Amen. Mm -hmm. God says, I want Amen. you to love me passionately. Nothing else matters in life. And you don't love you when you don't love your God passionately. God doesn't want you to, to love him half-heartedly. We've said this. You're no match. I have half a, a full-time devil or part-time Christian is no good. No match to a full-time devil. That's right. Amen. We need to remember this. We got to be passionate to be full-time. Mm. When you're full-time, you're our passion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the enemy sometimes does more than we do. And if he's full-hearted and full passion, we must do the same thing. He wants you to love him with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. All means all. Mm -hmm. All doesn't mean half. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Romans 12, 11 says this, Don't be lazy, but always work hard. Mm -hmm. Work for the Lord with heart full of love and passion Amen. for him. Amen? <clears throat> and one of my favorite scriptures is this, Matthew, I mean, excuse me, Colossians 3, 23. It says, Work hard. And cheerfully at all you do, mm. just as though you were working for the Lord yeah. and not merely for your boss or people. Uh -huh. I've told you this many times. <laughs> There's a lot of times when I'm out by myself, and you got to keep yourself strong. And you got to know I'm a child of God. Yeah. And I got to keep myself passionate and motivated and doing for what I'm doing. You're doing a job for somebody, and there's things to distract you. Amen? But still, I'm going to do the best I can because he's watching me all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen? The boss may not watch you all the time, but God is watching you all the Amen. time. Amen? So, serving excellence, integrity is the word. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. God. Jesus is saying, I want you to live passionately for me. I want you to put some muscle into it. Put some energy into it. Mm -hmm. Put some emotions into your relationship with me. Don't be a wimp about your relationship with me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've told you, praise and worship is part of the service. Put some yeah. emotions into it. And mm -hmm. sometimes it shows... <coughs> 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 It shows up as tears. Mm. Sometimes it shows up as you lift your hands mm -hmm. or you drop to your knees mm -hmm. or you just decide, you know what? I can't control these emotions anymore. You just got to run around the room. Mm. We ain't going to stop you. Mm -mm. Amen. Have your emotions just to say, Lord, yeah. I just want to yeah. praise you. I want to thank you. And you know what? Nobody around here will stop you. That's right, man. Amen. You're expressing yourself and you're expressing your emotions to him. And this is the way it shows up sometimes, you know, tears. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Nothing wrong with that. Amen. Give it all, all you've got. Give it your best. If you're going to follow me, go at it with passion. Mm -hmm. That's Jesus talking. You got to give me some more get up and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get some of the more of that get up and go, and that's not uh, what is uh, energy drinks you drink, whatever it is. <laughs> Express them. <laughs> Just give me some more get up and go, amen? <laughs> give us some more spark. Mm. You know what? He wants us to stay on fire. 
Mm-hmm. He says, I think he, he talks about uh, being lukewarm. He says, you could be lukewarm. You could be cold. You rather you be hot. Mm-hmm. We got to stay hot for him. Amen. Amen. We got to stay hot. The world will know and the enemy will know if you're not hot. Mm-hmm. Because it's going to show on your emotions. And it's going to show on the way you talk also. Mm-hmm. And you're going to let some things slide. Mm-hmm. Amen. That guard is going to come off. And them lips is going to get leaky and they're going to start leaking some stuff. <laughs> 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 give us some enthusiasm. Oh, give us some Lord. gusto. The Bible is oh. telling us that we are to seek God. Okay, oh, I'm going to close with this. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> We're to seek God passionately. Okay. We're to love God with passion. Uh-huh. Serve and obey God with passion. Yes. And trust God with passion. Yes. Amen. Amen. So. Yes. Getting fired up about the new year and serving and obeying him. This is exciting. Amen. This is exciting. Amen. <laughs> I get on I get excited, you know, hey, because my cowboys won. But you know what? How come we can't get excited about God? You know, how come we can't get excited about yes. coming to church? Hallelujah. Yeah? He said, Well, how come we can't get excited about coming together and assembling ourselves together? I can see if you're traveling and you're watching, you know, you're watching by uh, video or listening by audio. But if you're in the area, if you're, says Church Alive is worth the drive. Amen. Rusty All says walk. Church Alive is worth the walk. <laughs> we invite you to come. You know what? We'll make room for you. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm going to be passionate as pastor, even if the room's not full. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because you know why? Because I know Jesus shows up. Yes. Amen. You can be by yourself, but I know Jesus is present. Mm. And I'm going to be excited. Amen. Praise God. When you're excited and when Jesus is here, (laughs) things happen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) So we are to be passionate believers for God. We'll close right there. And uh, those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, if you never made Jesus Lord of your life, this is the time where you just say, Lord, I repent of all the wrongdoings, and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? He will. No matter what so-and-so says, he says That's he right. can't use you anymore. Mm-hmm. Just put that by the wayside, yes. you know, because he wants to use you. Amen. Amen. So just receive him. Yes. And you know what? Get Thank to a Bible, Lord. start reading the Word. Yes. It's going to set you free Amen. from all these things yes. that you've heard before. Get Pray yourself into a Bible-based church where they teach the Word of God, the yes. basic Word of God, Amen. and you can uh, learn. Amen. And come yes. and be a part of the assembly of yes. yourself together. Yes. And know that you are part of yes. the church, the body of Christ. Amen. 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 So praise God. If you need a healing, just touch that area yes. and say, by Jesus stripes, you're healed. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's what the Word of God says. So just trust and obey what the Word of God says. By Jesus Christ, you're healed. Speak to that body. Speak to that organ. The body line up with the Word of God and be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God. Amen. I'm going to stop right there. And we'll pick up from there next week. Amen.